Well, good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. The Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old-school feel about it. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. Well, we're on the way. All Brighton. Vardy. Vardy! Well, I think when you're in that situation, all you can do is, is tip your hat to the keeper because that was fantastic. And it's all Brighton. seems now to be all about width well when you have the personnel to create in wide areas then they need to see as much of the ball as possible Sunchu Lukman did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Neither side yet able to find the net. He's managed to get that all wrong. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tielemans, who's steaming forward. Vardy! Vardy showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Forward it goes. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. He's through the middle. Has a hit! It's it, surely this time! All Brighton. Vardy with a shot! He scored! And grabbing that opening goal so close to half-time too affords them that extra little psychological edge. And when it's one of your main men that's doing the damage, it just grows the togetherness, and it grows the spirit. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. There's the whistle for half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now.
Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Leading 1-0 at the break. And we are already promptly back on the way. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Lookman. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Vardy, he gets past his man, he's had a goal! Your impression so far, Jim? Well, I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Vardy is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Well, his stealth has been compromised because of his goal, and his treatment from here looks as if it could get a little tighter. It's got through to him. Defence has got rid of that. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Great reaction! Oh, he's pulled off a fine save. Well, I thought his starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. They've played it short. That's a throw. Tielemans gets it back. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Norwich are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Lookman puts his foot on the gas. And that's that. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way, the margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. Your reflections then, Jim? Well, a result which owed much to grind and graft, Peter. Not the prettiest of wins, but a very professional performance, I would say, and a clean sheet, of course, is, is always very welcome. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all... A very good evening.